up, Pop Peeps? Welcome back to another episode of Pop Mom 420. Before we get started with this episode, guys, I need you to do a few things. Number one, hit that notification bell. And while you're down there, hit the like button and also subscribe. This episode, guys, is something special because as you know from our last episode where we made pot chili cheese nachos with my friend Miss Charlie, which was vegan infused by the way, we're doing another episode. And this week we know that we're talking about October being breast cancer awareness and just women and families taking care of yourself. So I feel really special because my guest today She's all about bath bombs. Everybody I know that kind of lives in Vegas, that works in the industry, always talks about her bath bombs. So I've been like trying to get her on to the show all summer. And we finally connected and we thought it would be a good time to do it in October where her business is starting up really good and she hand makes these bath bombs. Actually, I have a few pot peeps out there on my Instagram who've received them in the mail because they won contests. So I wanted to have her on the show and make some darn bath bombs just like I had the last pot peep come on and make something. So guys, I'm gonna introduce you to her or I'll let you introduce you to yourself. And guys, this is my guest and tell everyone who you are. Hey guys, I'm Amy from Unbound Self Care. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a really, really simple bath bomb. Uh, something you can make with your kids, your spouse, mm -hmm. really real easy. Uh, nothing harsh, nothing... And it's really not. Like seriously, she pulled out like uh, Mary Poppins, she had one bag. And literally a mesh came out, a bowl. Some things are already labeled, so I can kind of tell she already does this stuff at home, like for real legit. And it's nice to know who's making your stuff. I think we live now in a day and time well, you want to know what's going in your stuff. Like, people are so sensitive and since There's everything. There's breast cancer awareness month. Exactly. Mother. There's no harsh chemicals in it. You can make it real, real simple. It's just going to be stuff you can get right on Amazon. Gotcha. Molds. And I'll be sure, guys, to put that link below of everything that she tells me so you can kind of recreate all this at home. So just explain to us a little bit of what we got going on here. This here's just going to be citric acid. Citric acid. I know that one. If you watch my gummy videos, you would know I use citric acid. It's just made from lemons. It's very simple. Got it. This one here is going to be cream of tartar. What is a cream of tartar? That sounds like something that I will put on top of my pot. You can get it in the baking section. Uh, oh. It's high peaks on like uh, when you make uh, whipped cream and stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, cream that tartar, y'all. Oh, yeah. It's a binding agent. It'll make your, your bomb solid. Nice. That's good to know. This here is going to be baking soda. That's not bull. Okay, I'm not going to say the cuss word. No, ma'am. <laughs> I realized after I wrote it. That's but no, funny. it's just baking Thank soda. You know, okay. All really simple ingredients. I just brought a little bit of lavender. Oh, we and love bergamot. lavender. Oh, those are two great ones. I'm glad, actually glad you brought These that. These are all super happy. Yep. We're enhancing essential oils. We got some Epsom salt. Everybody should have Epsom salt in their house. Definitely. These are certain things you should just have in your house. Isopropyl. Yep. The reason we're going to use isopropyl instead of using uh, witch hazel is gotcha. because there's less water in it. Gotcha. So it won't activate your bath bomb when you're mixing it together because that seems to be an issue for people. Uh huh. Yeah. Gotcha. Got some food coloring. I went with real basic things. You don't have to get anything fancy. You can use this or you can buy some micas okay. as well. A uh, little spray bottle. Look, she keeping it real, real. I'm Just sure a little misting. Look, I'm sure all parents got all of this in their kitchen because I know when my kids were small, we were making stuff like this. We got a little small bowl. This is just to ensure everything is going to be broken down and gotcha. won't be clumpy. Everything except the Epsom salt, it will not need to be strained because it's too uh, coarse. We getting our chemistry on. This little beaker I remember from chemistry class. Yo, man, Albertson's got those. Yep. <laughs> I know that's right. And look, it's anchor um, hooking. You can even get that from Target. I got the big one in my cabinet. I just got the real basic round ones, but okay. you also can go right online. Oh, that's what those are. They're the molds. But uh, you can get the silicone ones that are shaped ones and leave them overnight and let oh, them set this instead is of fun. popping them out. Yeah, you can get them can in little kits. Can you use these for your Easter eggs? Like when you. No, okay. <laughs> for Easter eggs, I know, well, right? Exactly. I don't know. I was just thinking. You can like... make them Easter egg shaped. They sell like the Easter ah, egg ones. See? And you can even use the Easter eggs to make molds and then pop them out the next day if you want and do a bunch of smart. Really, I swear. Because you guys are going to have fun with all of this. Okay, I just want to go in. Like, All right. I just find this fun. I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything to you pot peeps, but this is about self-care. Super easy. She's here. We're going to knock it out. So tell me what to do. Let's, this she got a 15-minute Don't progress. forget the gloves, guys. She came protected. I realize I didn't bring any spares for you. That's okay. You but it's food coloring. It literally <laughs> rinses right off. I just It's all right. Have it. It's just the kitchen. Don't worry about it. I don't normally like to touch people's product with my hands, so I didn't do it. Oh, but it's course. just for you. You're going to end up keeping them anyway. Yes. Thank so. You. All we're going to do is take a real simple one cup. I've got a little half cup measuring cup. Okay. So take two scoops out of here. Okay. And that'll be one cup. And we want to leave the strainer on here like that? Mm hmm That's okay. how we're going to strain it to get to make sure it's everything. Nice. 
So that's just one cup right there. Yep. Two cups, guys. I'm keeping count. Y'all know Pop Mom won't forget. This is a half cup measuring cup, so it's oh, actually it's one, one cup. cup. I it. realized I didn't see the one cup in Got here. Got you. Okay. And then we're going to use the little quarter cup measuring cup. Got it. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to grab the creme of tartare. Now, I can't stick my fingers and eat that or nothing, can I? What? Uh, technically all of this is edible, but I mean, I wouldn't. Okay. It's not going to taste good. Okay, <laughs> I won't do it then. It's not that know. kind of thing. Okay. I but it's skin I'll safe because it's... Got it. So skin safe. That's a good way of looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it's not tasty though. And I don't smell anything, so. <laughs> I don't right. know. I just got to push the limits. I understand. I, I've i known people like you. They just want to eat everything <laughs> they see. And then we got the Epsom salt. So what I'm going to do is just... Oops. Okay, you all right. Just give it a little shake. Oh, okay. It just strains right through. Uh, we'll set that aside. Gotcha. And we'll add the Epsom salt. Nice. The citric acid is a quarter cup. Is um, it's gonna be a half a cup, but you're gonna add it last. Gotcha. Because once you add the citric acid, it becomes live. Oh. Any moisture you add to it, the same way you would add it to the water, it would begin to fizz. Gotcha. Ooh. You don't want to do that. Were you good in chemistry and science? I, I mean, loved it, but uh, I left school kind of early. It's okay. I see why you're doing well for yourself. <laughs> but you're breaking bad. It's. You want to add that last. Gotcha. So all it is is super simple. You get this, just mix it together a little bit. We're going to take this right here. Do you got a little olive oil? I do, actually. I realize I didn't bring oh, any oil Oh, yeah, we got it. So we're going to take one little teaspoon right here of olive oil, and we're going to put it into this. Okay. There you go, hon. All right. That's all it takes. So uh, with color, you can intensify it as much as you honestly want. Just got it. Just coloring. Um, I usually do like 20 little drops. Gotcha. I'm gonna go with pink for breast cancer month. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Now with this mixture, how many can you mix up? How many uh, CBD balms can you mix up this way? Or balms can you mix up? If I'm not mistaken, this just makes four of these right okay. here. I think you have a little bit left Got over. you. Yeah. I make a much bigger recipe normally. I got you. Okay. <laughs> this is the simpler version. That's good to know because if you want to start off small, perfect it, then you can grow into something else. Definitely. You For can sure. start adding layers. You can start adding rose petals. You can add yeah, like Yeah, because you mix colors together. Definitely. Like on her Instagram, I see her drop many together and they produce this rainbow of colors. I'm like, well, she had a fun doing this. Yeah. yeah you can also cool. add natural glitters. Just make sure that they're like bath safe and like skin safe for yourself. Gotcha. If you're going to add them and you want to add the water from, from the Crayola. No. Okay. There's okay. different ones that are skin okay. safe and they're biodegradable. Eco glitter. Yeah. Eco glitter, y'all. Eco glitter. <laughs> so we're just going to go with, uh, we can do like. I think like 10 and then five of this. Okay. I'm just gonna go. And is there any particular reason why you love the lavender and Bermont uh, mix? Or? Uh, they're they're good for anxiety and gotcha. depression. They're good for mood enhancement and common. Yes, that and, is uh, important to know. That's kind of all my, my jam right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, I skittish. love when people <laughs> intentionally make things around those issues because it's important. It's why you put love into what you do because you know, hey, I have anxiety, I have this. Let me look for those things that help aid me in this. So I, I really Definitely. do respect that. Honestly. And I mean, you can also do this with like a, a rose scent if it's something gotcha. like for Rose Damascus is really, really pleasant. Nice. So you just take this. And does it have a smell? Yeah, of course. Oh, it's wonderful. It really is. Yeah, it's simple. It's happy. And we're just gonna pour I like it. that. It's happy. Happy is important, man. I know that's right. Anything that triggers that happy. Yes. So we're just gonna pour this in here real easy. Since we haven't added the citric, it won't really activate or anything. Got it. And you're just gonna mix it a little bit. It's super simple. It's a little dusty. If you wanna wear a little bandana, not light and a little dust in your face, but it's pretty much harmless because yeah. it's just baking soda. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing this? Like, is this something as a it's, kid you started or? Honestly, I've been doing it about three years. I nice. started because uh, I was dating a girl in Portland. Uh -huh. And uh, one day I caught a view of her bill that she, from, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Fragrant Jewels, the ones that put oh, the little yeah. ring inside of it. And I was shocked at how much she was paying for two bath bombs oh, wow. and a candle. And I was like, yeah, so I'm going to make bath bombs <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put that. weed in them. I know uh, when I make them for special friends, I make them full spectrum I with love cannabis that. oil. I love that. That hey, is man. a real story. I'm a kid of an immigrant, man. I couldn't. I know that's I right. I seen that and I was shocked. I was yeah. like, oh my like, God. That price tag, 
definitely not for me. I'm gonna learn how to make this. I mean, they're beautiful bath bombs. I love them. I don't they're know tons if y'all see this transformation of fun that's happening. Oh, yeah. That was gotten happy. A little bit of alcohol. You smell it. I can't. Like you really can smell everything coming together. There's honestly. a little bit of alcohol scent, but the thing is, it evaporates right away. No, it, that's it's why not, it's so yeah. when you use it because it's the easiest thing for it to harden. This is amazing. By the way, these will dry in like a day here in the desert. If you're in a humid area, mm -hmm. you might. If you don't have a dehumidifier in your house and it's a moist day, you might want to wait for a day with gotcha. like less than like 40% humidity gotcha. out here in your neighborhood or have a dehumidifier. Yeah. Now, it'll take a couple of days to dry. Got it. Now, what about in the cold when the weather temperature like here in Nevada changes and get cold at night? Cold is not really a big issue. Gotcha. It's, it's the moisture it's content. The moisture. It absorbs moisture in the salts. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. So this is pretty moist. This is beautiful. You want to get it so it's um, kind of like wet sand where it kind of starts Got sticking it. together. Wow. And then you want to have to add as little moisture as possible when you add the citric. That way you don't risk it activating. Got it. So that'll make little bubbles. Mm. So then you just take this, mix it on in there. Okay. Wow. Nothing to it. This is a fun little project, especially in breast cancer month. Y'all can just make little bombs, send all your loved ones, all the ladies in your life, a little note reminding them to do a self self exam this month. Yeah. I don't know. You might save a life. Yeah. That nigga take a bath. Who doesn't that want is to do true. that? Anything where you can close off the door to everyone. Yeah. Clean your kids. Light a couple of candles. Yes. Chill out. Yes. All right, guys. See how it's nice and moist and sticking together like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. It's ready. So all you gotta do is take a little mold. I have them in like two sizes, so you can do little guys or big guys. You can do it if you want. Oh Go yeah. Ahead. Grab it. Okay. Let's take a little fistful. I always put a little bit in there, press it down a little. There you go. Like that. Nice and easy. And you want to take the other one, press it down as look, well. Look, she's such a pro. She just, look, sit it in there. Just leave it in there. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you like, just leave it in there. And then you want to pack it so it's a little high. Okay, got you. So even on so. On one side. Got that it. That way it can, you know, smush together. Oh, I got you. And you're just going to smush them together. Let me see Hopefully it'll work on the first try here. You don't want to overfill them and you don't want to underfill them. Let's see how Pop Moms come out. Oh, look at hers. Look perfect like an ice cream scoop. So I'm them afraid to let mine. Hey, please come out right. It can just be redone. Please That's the come great out thing right. About this. You can just try again. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I'm scared to flip it over. Yeah, go ahead. Drop it in my hand. You're good. Holy shit! There you go. Oh, sorry, Pop Peeps. I was excited. Oh, 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 we got a crumbler. Oh, mine is, is a crumbler. crumbler. Mine's is a crumbler. See, see? We it's got okay. you. You just got to pack okay. it a little tighter. It's okay. We're going back in. Get in there. Get in We're there. going back get in. We're going to go get scoop it. We're going to scoop it. Hey, man. Listen. As long as you get back up, no matter how many times you I fall, know that's right. Good. I know that's right. This smells so good. Oh, my gosh. It'll make the water a nice, light little pink color. This is so cute. I'm going to use these tonight. You want to let them rest a day to make sure they harden up all the okay, way, tomorrow. and they'll be completely solid by tomorrow. Okay. So is this well, one here, good? if you're in Miami or Portland, they're never gonna dry. Right. Like they're just—you'll <laughs> be there four days, and they'll just be sitting the there. Rain will just. I actually just bought over. the dampened, like little sacks that absorb moisture in the air, and I just put them on the shelf with them because they wouldn't dry. And I was like, after a couple of days, I was like, "Well, you're never gonna set, are you?" Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust mine. You gotta up. like pack it nice and tight. Hmm. I just gotta get a little. I'm still working at it. It's like a blooper event for me. Okay, I'm gonna get it this time. Three times a char. Oh, okay, I'm gonna uh, boom. Just leave that messy. I'm gonna just pack it down a little bit. My ex, honestly, like she freaked out on me a couple times trying to help me do projects. She would like try to do them and they wouldn't set, and she would wig out. And I'm like, that's cool, man. I got this. Let's see. Okay, maybe this time it's cool. Did you pack one the other side a little bit before you did yep, that? I think so. Let's see it. Let's see. I believe in you. Okay. Boom! It's better. I got you, go here. I feel it. I, I see what's wrong with your technique, though. Here, you can't be shy to shove it in there. You gotta make sure you pack it in there, guys, in this order to ensure it's solid when you pop it out. Oh! You <laughs> just. That is funny. Ain't nobody mad at you. You got this. So, once you get it in there, nice and packed. Like I said, one side's always gonna be a little more full than the other, mm -hmm. so it can actually make a seal. Got Ooh. it, okay. And we're just gonna press it together. Give it a little wiggle. Okay. There you go, guys. 
tap, tap. Nice. Okay. Okay. You just can't be scared of it. You gotta okay. get in there. I get it. I get it. And I understand why you love this. This seems a little therapeutic, too. It is. It's fun. It's crafty. It's really just something I started for fun. And then people were like, can I have one? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I was like, sure you can. Anything great starts with that. I Let's believe. make a little one because I think that's how much we have left in there. Gotcha. All right. We're just going to put that in there nice and snug. So is there anything out there you would love the audience, my pot peeps, to know about bath bombs? Anything that we haven't talked about that they should know well, about them? They are super therapeutic. It's always beneficial to take a soak in Epsom salt at least once a week. Mm -hmm. It's good for your muscles, good to detox. It's just great. Uh, I would honestly keep a bag of Epsom salt and throw it in along with your bath bomb when you do it regularly. It's just the way to go on gotcha, yeah and guys these are the basic bath bombs she also does ones for my CBD uh, giveaway she does them if you're in legal states with THC so you can really take these up to any level these are considered soap. a bath fizz there's no soaping agent in them uh, soaping agent you would need a little more equipment to gotcha. use uh, but they make more of a creamy froth instead of just a fizz. gotcha but it's uh, still tons of fun gotcha um, and then, so you can just see what this color is going to look like. We can just put it in the sink. Oh, yeah. Turn on a little warm right. water. And we'll just put this last bit of the powder in. Okay. And you can watch it just. Oh, wow. Right up. Look at there. Pretty cool. It'll last a lot longer once it's compressed and dried. Wow. It'll take longer for it to fizz out. And it feels nice, too. Mm hmm. I always like adding a little extra oil because it's good for your skin and we live in a desert. It's a nice, yeah, it's a nice light smell to it too. And the Vermont still comes through. I love that. It's very nice. I wash my hands. You know, that's good. It feels really silky, seriously. It's supposed to be moisturizing and yeah. you can use any oil. I used it olive really oil because that's what you had there. No, Some I people really like feel coconut it. oil. I'm not even bullshitting. Like, see. I'm saying that word a lot. I'm sorry, it's my fat news because I get so excited, but it really does. Feel it's really funny. I was scared that I was gonna curse on your show, and I don't think I've said a bad word no, once. I'm really excited behaved. for myself. I'm a well behaved. I am a foul mouth sailor normally. I'm, you, I'm really proud really of myself. You really are normally. You are. <laughs> Guys, we've had a lot of fun. We've made bath bombs. We made them in pink for breast cancer awareness. We want you to know to take care of yourself. Self care is the best care. You can check her out on Amy on Instagram at. Tell them your website, I mean your Instagram again. Uh, Unbound Self Care. So Unbound Self Care, guys. You can see her on here. She's visiting some places in Vegas, getting the word out that she's selling bath bombs. And I love to support women and I love to support home-based businesses. So this is great, guys. Pop Peeps, thank you. And check me out on my IG account at PopMom420. Thanks, Pop Peeps. See you next time. This was pretty awesome. Seriously.